felt like a bend but don't break, you know, anymore. You know, when you maybe throw some yards, you have to make those critical plays that you may run. What's your thought on that? Uh, I'd rather not bend. <laughs> uh, you know, but I thought our guys, I think the big picture, what we were trying to get done was make them drive the field and, and um, you know, keep their trick plays intact, uh, keep their long play action posts intact. And our guys did that. And we're able to get them to take a few more snaps, and then we were able to make a couple plays. What can a game like that do for them moving forward? Uh, I think we'll see. You know, I, I don't. I, I think. Uh, I think that's the challenge that we have. I think we'll see what it does, uh, whether we handle it or um, you know, whether it becomes a poison to us. And um, if we handle it and go on, it can do a lot of great things. It gives you some confidence and all that stuff. But if you don't handle it right, it'll it'll be just another game and. Back trying to figure out what you know what went wrong. So, I think the biggest thing is is we'll find that going forward. Um, you know, good practice tonight. So pleased with all that so far. Where are the challenges that come with the idea that right now you're looking at two different quarterbacks, Kansas maybe using? Well, the biggest challenge you have with this crew is that they're you know this this group they're so they really test you schematically, uh, maybe more than anybody we've played so far. Uh, a lot of different formations, a lot of different personnel groups, a um, lot of different plays. A lot of different schemes, and so they really make you work. And uh, they're probably the most, um, the toughest to defend so far that we played from a schematic standpoint. When uh, Joel goes both ways, I know you give him a few snaps. I think, what did you see from Ty Marr and Bobby when they had a game? Oh, that was guys that did a heck of a job. You know, I think it was real for them. All of a sudden, they're in there in the lineup, and, uh, you know, playing at Oklahoma and, and, and real. And uh, I thought they did a good job. We need them to do a good job. Uh, we need them going forward to get better and better. And, and I think they're both you know, excited now about, hey, it's real. I am going to be in there, and, and I'm in the action. And, uh, I think they'll both accept those roles well. What was the mood of the guys like going into that? You know, Oklahoma had a couple minutes left to try to get back into it. Mm -hmm. You were able to pressure Brett. I mean, that, that Mayfield, he's he's won a lot of games that way. And you yeah, stuff. he's really a talent together, a very talented group. You know, I, I just sensed the whole time of the game. I, I don't know. I, I just sensed our guys. I think just, and I think I personally, I think we just felt like we were always in the game. I don't think we ever felt like, you know, anything that was bad happening were some mistakes that we were making on our side of the ball. Just, you know, we cut a couple guys loose in coverage and, uh, but never really felt like, you know, shoot, we're out of this, we can't do this. And I think that was the mood of the players. I think our guys just kept believing that they could do it. And, you know, I mean, really have tried to do that all year. And, and uh, you know, we got it into the fourth. And, you know, held them to one score, I think, or so in the second half. And our guys on offense were incredible. And, you know, they kept the ball. They kept us off the field. Um, I mean, our offense was the best defense we had Saturday because we weren't out there playing a whole bunch. And I've always believed that. I think that, you know, your best friend on defense is the offense that, you know, doesn't turn it over and takes time off the clock. So, um, you know, they certainly helped us and gave us a chance to, to make a couple plays down the stretch. And I'm uh, thankful that we were able to do that. What was the mood like after that first drive? Because that first drive, they just marched and got that oh, first score. And then after that, it seemed different. I don't know. I'm not a, I think the first drive is always hard on the road. Uh, I'm not a first drive guy. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't. that stuff doesn't. you got to fix the problems. And we cut loose a couple guys. We didn't get across in one of the gaps, and they hit a seam. Again, I, I don't feel – I didn't come off the field like those – boy, you know, we're in trouble because we couldn't do this or that. We, we made a couple critical mistakes. and. They're too talented to, to do that stuff against them. Really, anybody is. But you know, I just again, I felt like some of the issues were us. And you know, if that's the case, you always got a chance of fixing them if you can keep, you know, making them take some snaps. And How, we were able to do that. I'm sorry. How did you feel about the secondary for the most part, though, and getting kind of everybody back together and healthy? And you have a full. Well, I was really proud. You know, I think Coach McDonald did a great job with the corners. Um, those guys took care of the trick plays. A um, couple of the deep balls, uh, our guys were up on top of post cuts. And, you know, I think the corners and those guys, I think they did a great job of that part of the game plan. And, uh, you know, we, 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 again, we corral a couple of those. Uh, you know, they got a trick play, the first down on the one trick play, but we were up on top of routes. And so there was no touchdown, no free points, no, you know, they drove it and, and earned it. So, Campbell yeah. said uh, Willie Harvey. Um, been able to run a little bit. What have you seen throughout uh, today at practice? About the same, yeah. I mean, he was out running around a little bit, and I don't know. We'll see. I'm not. I don't have enough initials behind my name to <laughs> to decide what he's doing. But he, he looked fine. He was doing good out there. I, I think he's trying to work himself back in.
what kind of luxury is it for a defensive coordinator to have such good run stoppers coming out of the secondary? Well, you know, it's a plus. You hope it doesn't get that far. Um, but some of our schematic stuff counts on those guys to be supportive. And, uh, you know, you saw Reggie uh, go in there and make a couple of hits at the line of scrimmage. That's what we were asking him to do in a certain coverages. Um, Kamari made a couple of plays, Everett made a couple of plays. And, you know, so I, I think, you know, that's part of their, you know, their job description. Uh, you don't like them to have to make a ton, but at times we ask those guys to do it, and they've done a good job so far. Reggie's really tackled really well the other night in space. Seems like there's kind of a trend to maybe slow down these high-powered offenses to just rush three or four and drop a bunch of guys mm -hmm. back. Why has that been so successful? Well, I don't, I don't know. I think you, I don't know. I guess personally, I guess my opinion of it is, is that. You've got to find a way to close some windows, and, and, and in order, if you've got some guys that can stop the run, um, you can add some more guys to the back end, and so all those guys aren't out there in single coverage and man coverage. I, I think if I was a quarterback, and most quarterbacks would tell you, when you're out there playing man, they got a pretty good handle on where everybody is, and I think when you can drop eight at times, um, you know, and you, and you can change your coverages around and give them some different looks, it's a little more, makes them pat the ball a little bit longer, and. And then all the routes that were supposed to be exactly what they are have to change into something else. And that's where you buy yourself some time. But um, that's a personal opinion. I, I just think it, it helps you close some windows that are out there.